As soon as I got in that helicopter, dude, I just grabbed my guys and just gave them a huge hug like I was hugging my own kids. Tonight, New Bedford fishermen, thankful to be alive, grateful to the Coast Guard crew that rescued them. As Mike LaCrosse explains, their boat was taking on water and they had nowhere to go. Roger, Captain. Understand you're taking on water. 18 miles south of Martha's Vineyard and just two hours shy of finishing up a five-day trip, the Sea Star was going down. Within about two minutes, I knew there was, there was no saving the boat. So at that point, you worry about your men. The boat's captain, Andrew Arnett, telling his guys to suit up. As the Coast Guard headed their way around 6.20 last night, the crew of four staying in constant radio contact. They would also like you guys to conserve your flares. While the Atlantic consumed the boat. That's a sea star. That's a sea star. This is a Coast Guard helicopter on Channel 15. How do you read? All right, sir. Go ahead and fire off a flare for me. First thing, you didn't hear it, but you've seen its lights. You know what I mean? And we're all, we're all standing out. We're all like, wow. You know what I mean? Screaming. We're like, yeah. That. The fishermen then jumping into the 37-degree water and away from the boat to avoid being sucked down with it as a rescue swimmer began airlifting them to safety. I won't forget the swimmer, that's for sure. I mean, he, he literally looked like a guardian angel coming out of the sky. It was, it was something you can't even describe. Captain Arnett quickly hugging his crew inside that chopper, relieved he'd see his wife and two kids again. The crew plans to spend the next week relaxing at home with their family before thinking about even heading back out onto the water. As far as what caused the boat to sink, it remains under investigation. Reported in New Bedford, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.